Hello friends, in today's video we will be going over what I believe to be the best beginner tech out there right now. So let's get straight into the video with some green madness. Before we get this show on the road, please let me ask you to subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot and it will help me to keep bringing you content for the game you love. So please keep subbing, liking, commenting, all the good stuff. I also want to thank you for joining the Discord like crazy. It's been a crazy ride. It's been a lot of fun talking to all of you. So make sure to join the Discord. You can find the link down below in the description. Now let's get straight into this deck. As you all been seeing lately, a lot of talk about Alchemist. I already made another video about the top tier Alchemist deck. I've been doing a lot of testing with it and I believe this to be the best beginner deck out there right now. What's good about this deck? First of all, no legendary cards. So everybody almost from the start can play this. The only downside, let's say, it's Thunderer. I think you need like 1500 trophies for him. So that's like a little bit into the game, but below 1500 trophies, you can basically play any deck. Um, so we've got Alchemist, that will be our main DPS. Remember that, Alchemist is the main DPS in this deck. We have the classic combo between Mime and Priestess. We can use it to trade units quicker, but most importantly, more importantly for the mana. Then we have Grindstone to maximize our damage to boost our Alchemist. Yeah, again, our Alchemist. And then last but not least our Thunderer. You would expect this guy to be the main DPS, but it's not. He is there basically for his slow and he helps early game with direct DPS. Early game your Alchemist is a little bit slow and, and the puddles are all over the place, not coming fast enough. And that's why Thunderer is there. And later on when you level up your Thunderers uh, and you, you merge them into tier 3 thunderers or higher if you're lucky you know the, the the slow becomes important so that's basically the the basics of this deck often you learn more from losing than you do from winning and as you will see i will lose this game yeah i lose games i'm not afraid to admit it and to show you guys so here it is you can see that my opponent got lucky with an early tier 3, he's got a tier 3 uh, vampire getting extra mana, he's even using vampire and priestess, I don't think that's a good idea, but anyway, uh, but basically he's got the 3 tier 2 uh, alchemists and the tier 3 and a tier 2 um, thunderer, and as you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble building my board and I had a lot of bad luck getting that tier 4 priestess there. And that kind of messed me up and I couldn't get a grip on the game and I was getting too much pressure early on. So if you lose your pressure early on, you can lose these types of games. That's what I mainly wanted to show you guys. Um, try and build your damage and maintain it so, so you can keep control of the lane. And here I completely lose control of the lane and I can't keep up. And yeah, that's that's basically what happened here. So it's not the deck, it's just me uh, having a little bit of bad luck and maybe not making the right moves. So I'm catching up now, but it's, it's too late and I'm gonna lose the game. As you guys can see, I'm playing my alt account. I do this to mimic the stats of beginners, so you guys don't think I'm playing my main account with, with big crit rates and stuff like that to, to make it more easy for myself. Uh, that's certainly not the case. So you can see the stats and everything right there. And now we're getting into our second game with the same deck and let's find out what uh, is going to happen here. In the second game you will see I'm getting a little bit less pressure from my opponent. He's also using triple DPS characters so he has uh, almost no utility. Never a good idea. Uh, and I can slowly 
build uh, my board and right away I get a tier 2 Thunderer and I get a tier 2 Alchemist on a grindstone so that's always good but what you need to remember from this is just you know build up your board slowly and sustain sustain the damage you have to keep it up uh, right there and that's that's how you start building your board also what everybody has to remember about this it, this is the beginner version of the deck there's also a top tier version but in that version you have harlequin you have summoner so you can work a lot better with your mana and you can you know be more sustainable so here you don't have that this will be slower so don't expect to have like very high tier units very fast and you will have to conserve your mana a lot better so keep that in mind as you can see now I'm saving mana because I don't know what's gonna happen and I start buying now when I have a lot of mana in a safe moment and trying to build my board this way because I don't have Harlequin for the swapping and I don't have summoner to, to do even better on my uh, mana and my trade-offs so keep that in mind play calm and and think about your mana so some viewers uh, have asked me to go a bit deeper into the mana part of the game. So while we watch this, uh, let's let's do this. So basically there's three characters. We have a Vampire, we have the Magic Cauldron and we have Priestess. And later in the game you could say uh, Summoner will also save you a lot of mana. So there's that. But we're talking about beginners here and, and the early game when you, you know, beginner game play so let's go into that so for pvp because we're going to talk about pvp here uh forget about the magic cauldron uh you know i know you can get it to work and you know but it's just too slow and you can have uh, get maximum benefit from it in co-op but not in pvp yes you can win games with it so i'm not gonna start that discussion but no for pvp then we have Vampire. Vampire got a nerf like two or three patches ago. It's not as good anymore, but it's for beginner gameplay still very decent and you can use it or you can use Priestess. Uh, and especially Priestess together with Mime. Uh, I prefer that option because um, I want to get rid of the units and with the Vampire to get the benefit from it you have to have it on the board and more than one preferably so it takes up space and, and you know and the Priestesses you, you just want to get rid of them you can Mime them you can get rid of them merge 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 it's all good and that's what I'm going for so in the meantime we won that game hooray hooray but we were talking about mana so how do we use the mana once we have decided what character we're using uh, we're talking we, we just talked about the characters but you can also choose not to use any mana character that's up to you but in the early games in the the beginning uh, i i kind of like uh, using the priestess in this case um, so once you have the mana as you can see I, I kind of build up my, my board and now I will be saving a little bit of mana to see what happens uh, you can also see my opponent hasn't really done much uh, on his board yet so it's often a good idea to see what happens and to save a little bit of mana it depends every game but that's what you want to do uh, because if you have mana you can react without mana you can't do much for some decks or some games it's more important to um, use your mana at a certain time but for this deck you kind of want to save your mana and to build your board kind of at the right time but it's not as important you just want to have enough damage you want to have enough alchemists and you want to have them hugging the grindstone as much as possible so as you can see now I'm kind of losing the lane a little bit getting pressured so I'm still saving because I'm, I'm pretty confident but it's a good time to start building my board you know um, so use your mana wisely uh, be conservative in your mana when you need to but start spending when uh, you you have to basically 
So we have only talked about mana in terms of uh, summoning units, but you also need mana to level them up. And as you see, I only gave my alchemist a tick and my thunderer, so that's not much leveling up. But, you know, I got my board going now and now I start leveling up a little bit. So you don't want to level up your units too soon because then you don't have the mana to build your board. So you have to find a good balance. When do you summon units and when do you uh, upgrade your skills, level up your skills. So that's, that's something really hard to answer. There is no good answer or bad answer. It's something you need to learn. So by playing, um, the, the best thing I can say is you have to find a balance. Don't go overboard one way or the other. Because if you're like uh, after boss tree, if you can make it that far without leveling up your skills, all of a sudden you will get overrun. So, you know, find good balance. That's the best I can tell you on how to level up your skills and buy new units. Now, let's talk about this specific deck some more. So, important things to know uh, it, it's no rocket science we all know how to play this game if you're beginning I have some other videos that give more general tips and tricks so go watch on my channel but for this one your alchemist is your main damage dealer you want him hugging the grindstones as much as possible um, the thunderers you know they help in early damage like if you watch the video right now that's the point where you want your alchemist to take over the the most part of your damage and your thunderer will go more to the back and become more of a slowing unit um, so that's that and yeah as you can see we already beat him uh, but that's that's uh, important to know so right now you can see a beginning of the game now you want some thunderers to do the early damage and uh, make up for the bad early game from alchemist that's basically what he's there for um, another good thing to remember is of course the grindstones hugging the alchemists that's really important to especially towards later in the game to maximize your alchemists damage and the priestess and the mime are there for mana mostly and why i use these specific two ones is because i want to get my units higher and that's a difficult thing to do when you're a beginner how do you get uh, tier 3 units efficiently without harlequin without summoner well you can do it this way because you don't need priests on priestesses on the board you don't need mimes on the board you can just merge them away and get higher units quicker that way okay it's that time of the video where i go quiet you guys can enjoy the rest of the video uh, enjoy the music and um, i hope it was helpful you learned something i hope i covered everything and there's nothing left for me to say so i hope to see you guys soon on the battlefield mm -hmm.